Hello. They're talking again about masks for children in schools and the uh, it says here author Julia Donaldson hits out at children wearing face saying their learning shouldn't be sacrificed to save the NHS uh, and here is a picture of a bunch of kids wearing and look I agree with Ms Donaldson I just don't think she's got the right idea it isn't to save the NHS that's a smokescreen what it is is that the teachers unions are calling for it here well let's let's just get on with this she said she felt that schools were becoming normalized and feared the impact it would have on children's education and then she says even if the current proposals are only for three weeks this could be repeated and become something considered normal wherever there is an infection whereas it should not be considered normal it is alien even dystopian and for sure it is and for sure it's the teachers who are uh, pushing this mostly this is um, I think from October at the moment I can't see the the date on it but I'll, I'll find that if if I'm not right I'll put some sort of a, a note up there the uh, NASUWT which is one of the biggest teachers unions call for tighter COVID safety measures and they call it COVID safety measures and they insisting on children wearing now <laughs> The sort of you get when you go into a hospital or a doctor's surgery, uh, they're made with um, things over the nose and, and they're quite, and they're new, they're clean, they're disposable. They do cut down infection, provided your hands are clean. I'm the mother of three sons, they were never clean. They, uh, kids are always messing around with stuff, especially in primary schools. But uh, even in secondary schools, they're, they're, they're not that careful. Why should they be? They're immortal. That's how kids look at life anyway. And they don't care about And they get fed up and their, their ears hurt and they take off and they stuff them in their pockets or they leave them on the sides of sinks while they go to the lavatory and they pick them up with dirty hands and everything there is just no way that the and Omicron well I told you in a previous video about an outbreak in the South Pole the people who had gone there uh, two of them uh, ended up turning up with Omicron COVID and they had been in isolation so how did they get the COVID? Well it's obvious a baggage handler or uh, somebody in the airport something on the the railing on the escalator or anything like that it just shows you how uh, infectious contagious whatever it's called that virus is so these kids they're going to be rubbing their eyes they're going to be, well, picking their noses, I suppose, some of them, and, and they, they're going to be messing around with... They are going to be touching all sorts of surfaces. If the teachers are that worried, they're the ones. They should turn up in, in large plastic bags because that's the only way. They, I never open them. Zip up and stay there in that bag the whole day until they get home. Oh, and, and drop the plastic bags before they get into the car, of course, because the outside of the bag's going to be covered in the virus anyway. Look, the whole thing is ridiculous. I have heard of teachers who have stood in front of their pupils when a school shooter has come into the classroom and tried to save their students by facing down a, a somebody with a gun. 
that's what teachers are look no i taught nobody goes into a classroom expecting that this is going to be their last breath but if that's what happens that's what happens that is the duty of a teacher if a teacher goes into a classroom it should be with the idea you're going to get all sorts from your from your the kids in, in your class all sorts <laughs> They have all sorts of skin diseases and and, uh, and, uh, and and viruses and nits. You get all sorts from kids. I mean, being a teacher is being a teacher. If you want to insulate yourself from the world, go and be an accountant or something, a self-employed writer or whatever. If you aren't prepared to catch what your kids have, uh, in normal circumstances then you, you're not fit to be a teacher I'm sorry I, I have been a teacher this is my personal experience you get stuff from your kids uh, there's nothing you could do about it. you get stuff from the, your own children they bring things back it's ridiculous and it's I, I don't understand why the teachers union unions aren't telling their people unless they have health problems to just get on with it what is it about people on the left because we know that teachers unions are very leftward leaning what is it that makes you so afraid of everything of contagion i i don't understand this my i, I would like an answer any comments uh, please, teachers who are afraid. Now, I know that you are likely to get Omicron from your children. You're going... <laughs>And some of you are going to be completely asymptomatic and some of you are going to be quite ill. <laughs>